Okay, so for today, we are going to be talking about admin support. And this is because as VAs, ito yung parang pinaka baseline ng services natin. So for this particular module, we're going to talk about Google Suite and how it plays a role sa pagbibigay ng admin support. We will look in, um, into Gmail. We'll be doing a deep dive. And um, we'll also learn how, we, how to use the Google Calendar and especially the, the Drive. So, so Drive, we will talk about docs, the sheets, the slides, and the forms. Okay? So for admin work, kasi ito yung mga support na binibigay natin sa client. Iba-iba klase siya. So, let's say she wants um, for you to fix her emails or gusto niya na i-manage mo yung calendar niya or nagpapadala siya ng mga documents sa'yo or ng mga files, etc., etc. Kadalasan, karamihan ng mga small business owners sa Google Suite nila pinapadaan yon. So, si Google Suite kasi is isang service, parang a collection of service. So, lahat siya cloud-based na mga apps na magkakasama sila and then lahat yun, parang pwede mong gamitin sa business mo, depending, uh, it depends on your needs. Okay? Now, ang kagandahan dito, yung Google Suite kasi is paid. However, um, meron silang free counterpart na accessible sa kahit kanino. This is great kasi ibig sabihin, you can practice and play with the tools kahit wala ka nung paid version. Okay? And in fact, it's possible na you're already using it. So if you have Gmail, it means that you are already using a piece of the suite. For now, we're just going to be looking deeper dun sa mga parts ng mga tools na yon, and we'll talk about yung mga services or function na common na pinapagawa sa mga VAs. Okay? So, we will start with Gmail. And let me just switch over here. Okay. So, for Gmail, kung nakalogin ka sa Chrome mo, lalabas na siya dito. Pag um, yung long way naman is, dito mo siya makita. So, if you click that, ito yung napapaloob sa suite mo. These are all free versions. Pero pag may Chrome account or may Google account ka, lahat to accessible sa'yo. So, you can also click Gmail here. Okay? So, well, let's start. So, to begin with, let's just check yung Compose function niya. So, it's very much just like your regular email. This is the part wherein you can customize it. Yan, dito, kung gusto mong mag-add ng CC or BCC, blind copy. Yes. And then, yan. Click mo lang siya kung gusto mong mag-add. Okay. So, ito for your formatting options. Yan siya. Kung gusto mong mag-attach ng file, mag-link. This is just for emoji. Ito, kung mag-insert ka ng mga files, this is, of course, linked sa Google Drive mo. Pictures. And then, this one is mostly common din sa, sa mga business owners. So, si Gmail, meron siyang functionality na gawing confidential yung mga emails. So, this is very handy kung halimbawa you're going to be um, sending sensitive documentation or magsisend over kayo ng passwords. So, what happens is if it's na confidential mode, for one, si recipient, hindi niya mafo-forward, makakopy, print, or download yung email mo. At the same time, you have the option to set an expiry date. So, after this setting, so kung depende sa chinus mo, sinabi, sinabi mo, oh, after a week, mag expire siya, you can do that. You can also set a passcode kung, app, kung gusto mo. You can also do that. So, that's for your regular messaging. 